Hello! Sim the World here, playing some more PC Building Simulator, the eSports expansion. Last video, we finished up our second work week in the game, and what a ride it was. I didn't think it would get more stressful until this week. We're going to need to kick it into overdrive to finish all the jobs requested of us. Last time, we finished all the jobs and everyone gave us full likes. Isn't it great to get a like? At the end of the video, my phone would not stop blowing up. We better see who's upset and get fixing it. So if we log into what's up, we see MG has been blowing us up. I had a big fight with Picard on Saturday. He is kind of an ass. And I guess it was kind of my fault. It's just he came in with all these nutty ideas about tactics and strategy and stuff. Don't know how much you know about the Vandals, but we don't do tactics and strategy. Our whole thing is being unpredictable. That's what makes us strong. But Picard comes in five seconds before the match begins and starts telling me the super complicated plan he's come up with and expects me just to follow along. So yeah, I kind of blew up. But I've given a lot of thought and I don't want to destroy our chances of winning the league. Maybe he's got a point. Maybe we do need a plan. Oh, you think? Plan usually helps any team, uh, but what do I know? If he really thinks a solid strategy can help us bring home the victory, then I have to trust him. He's my teammate. He's my friend. So could you give my rig back to me today? I've got a lot of catching up to do. Well, that is a cool conclusion you came to. Let's give you a little smiley face. And all you send are eyes. That's that's disappointing. Um, but but that's going to be a challenge for us since we got to come up with the PC today. See what Picard's doing these days. Don't know if you heard, but I got into an argument with MG at the weekend. It was pretty bad. I want to try to actually have a plan for once, but apparently that's crazy. Whatever, I'm doing it anyway. I just need time to practice. Can you get my PC back to me tomorrow? Thanks. Oh, and don't mention this to Jules or MG, okay? They wouldn't understand. Well, Picard, you're going rogue on us. And again with the sunglasses. I think they just send one emoji. Um, so we gotta fix both their computers today. Get them ready for the next competition. Get these on the desk and check our emails. BVGA sent us, Hi, great work last week. We're very happy. Although I heard there was some kind of argument between your players. Hopefully nothing major. We'll get back to you soon with some more ideas. So they'll have more work for us. Jules has sent us, Great work Saturday. I knew I made the right decision in hiring you. Unfortunately, it's not all good news. Picard and MG have had an argument. Boy, word gets around fast here. I don't really know what's going on, but I need you to keep them happy if we're going to have a chance of winning this tournament. I've requested some additional budget for upgrades. Hopefully that'll be enough. Fingers crossed. Finally, some money. We got 2,500 bucks. This is great. EVGA sent us. Oh, more about the argument. Who cares? Really? Just hearing more details about the argument between MG and Picard after the match on Saturday. Something about strategy? It's all over social media. I wonder if it was Picard that put all that out on social media. He's kind of a tool. It happened off stage, so officially it's a personal matter, but we'd hate to see this affect the Vandals' leak performance. Do what you can to keep the team together, for everyone's sake. In the meantime, make sure you've got at least three brightly lit RGB components in both players' PCs for Saturday. At least that way the audience will be focused on the hardware rather than the fighting. You know, RGB makes the best gaming computers. You got enough of it and no one watches the gameplay. That's why my computer's lit up like a Christmas tree. And our budget for 2500 Thanks, Jules. So MG has been asking for four fight green lighting for over a year. I think it's time we finally gave her what she wants. Make sure there's at least three RGB components. We can't afford to lose MG now. All right, 
So this will actually satisfy our EVGA request of having three components lit up. This should be cool. Our next request is, had a chat with Picard and he won't be happy unless his PC has at least 16 gigs of RAM and can get at least 6,000 in a benchmark. Can you make this happen? Again, I don't know who memorizes benchmark scores, but um, yeah, I, I actually no, I don't know if I can actually make Picard happy. It seems like he's missing something in life and it's just, making life difficult for both MG and me now. Yeah, thanks for doing the job. Have your crappy gaming computer. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. Let's start with MGs, because all we have to do is get the lighting down. And she needs her computer back today. The first thing I'm gonna do is put the USB in, because we're gonna need to install the lighting software. I'm also not seeing enough RGB components. So let's see what we got in. We actually have two RGB fans in our inventory. Kind of convenient for us. So let's go ahead and get those put in. Now we'll repower up. Let's put the front panel back on. No one's actually going to see that fan, but, you know, this should be enough to make EVGA happy. Let's put the case back on and let us install the lighting software. We will restart. Let's take a look at what kind of lighting we need. We need it to be 6, 150, 117. Let's select all the lights we can. Let's do 6, 150, 117. Oh, 117. <laughs> we want the static. We'll apply it. Perfect, that hits three of the lights. Go ahead and take a look at our computer. The motherboard, the fan, and the MSI logo. Let's remove the lighting software now that we got it fixed to what we need. I don't know if you can leave the software on here or not. I know in the previous version of the game, if you left the virus scanner or your overclocking programs, the, uh, con the customers weren't as happy so I'm playing it safe with this. With that done, we're going to take this over to the delivery area and head over to Picard's computer. All right, so we're going to need to upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM. Let's go ahead and take that off. Let's see what kind of RAM we need. We need to replace it with Corsair Dominator Platinum. 8 gig at 3600 megahertz. So let's go ahead and put that in our cart now. Corsair Dominator. We need the. Actually, we can just scroll down. The 8 gig at 3600 megahertz. Perfect. So that'll come in tomorrow. Um. To get the score of 6,000, first let's go ahead and... I think we can get this. With a little bit of overclocking. Why don't we give that a try? So we want to... We're going to need the testing software. We're going to need the overclock stability test. And we need the GPU tuner. Rather than paying for parts for Picard, I'd rather see if we can just boost what he already has. So the first thing I want to do is, there's no point in having 3600 megahertz RAM if you're not using it. So let's turn the XMP on. What kind of cooler he has. Just an air cooler um, and it's next chip. 
Let's go ahead and leave that for now. I don't think we're going to get much benefit in trying to push that. So let's go ahead to the GPU tuner and see if we can push something that stabilizes. What I like to do is I'll have the overclocked tester on indefinitely. What we want to do is watch these um, GPU temps as we raise the power level and the core clock. There's nothing set about this it's just trying to see where this we can take this all the way up to about 90 degrees celsius you gotta stay below 94 so we have some wiggle room yet we're up to one we're up to 88 degrees we take this 2025 20, Do that and give it one more percent. See if that's stable. All right, we're at 92 degrees Celsius. I'm going to call that. I don't want to take it any further. Let's see what we get for a score now and see if we need to replace anything. Oh, wow. We got 6,700 as a score. This PC already clocks what he wants. So all we need to do is wait for that RAM to come in. And if the RAM is the only thing we need, let's go ahead and get that delivered next day. His computer will be done tomorrow and Jules is already done. Oh, that's right. We also need three RGB items. We've got the graphics card, we've got the um, motherboard. Let's also throw another case fan in here. So he's got our, all the RGBs he can possibly want. So we gotta make EVGA happy too. All right, so all the fans are in, all the RGB is in. Let's go ahead and end the day and get our RAM. Got our part, let's go ahead and slap that in. Now in the game, it doesn't matter where you put the RAM. Um, typically in real life, you'd want to consult your um, motherboard manual just to confirm. You usually want to do the first and the third spot. You don't want to just put them in next to each other. But again, that is something you're gonna have to check on. In the game, it doesn't matter. You can slap them in wherever you'd like. Um, I like to try just to be a little more realistic. So again, oh, we have a message as well. Let's check that while the overclock runs. Urgent, my PSU is not up to scratch. I want a Supernova 1600T2. I want it today. Don't care what it costs to get it shipped here, just do it. Wow, Picard, you couldn't fall further down my shit list today. Your PSU looks like it's working fine. It's pushing the overclock we want. We're getting the score we'd like, but let's just turn this off because I need to rip out the PSU. Because apparently somebody thinks they're the IT support expert and knows what you need. This is a 600 watt power supply. This is only a 1070. You're getting all the power you needed. So let us, he wanted the 1600 watt and it was the T2. So let's put that in our cart for now. Let's check our other emails. All right, so we have Trinity Esports that emailed us. Hi, I'm Marcy, CEO of Trinity Esports Inc. I know you've probably got a lot going on right now. 
but I wanted to let you know we might soon have an opening for an IT support technician. We like to keep an eye on potential candidates, and you're one of them. Of course, I can't promise anything, but we'll be paying close attention to your performance during this league. If you like what we see, we'll be in touch. Ooh, that's a chance to get away from Picard. I might take that opportunity. Speaking of which, we have another email from Picard. I have a growing, no pun intended, HD footage archive of rare moss and ferns. But I'm running out of hard drive space. Can you find some time to upgrade it? I can't afford any more than $350, but hopefully that's enough. I need to save money to import my very own sample of water, rock, crystal, from Scotland. So he wants us to upgrade his SSD. Needs that done in two days. That's actually quite reasonable. So he'll send the computer. We can see what needs to be replaced and go ahead and send that back. So we'll wait on that. We have an uh, email from MG. So I guess you heard that Picard and me aren't getting on too well right now. I didn't join the Vandals to spend hours working on strategies and tactics. I've never been able to focus on that stuff. I forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. I lose track of where everyone is. I hate it. I've been trying to keep my mind off of it at home, playing some casual games the way I want to play them. But now my home PC is starting to crash all the time, so I can't even do that. Can you help? Yeah, I can help. You are giving us two days, so... We don't need to worry about schedule. Everyone's stuff will be fine. This needs to get done today. Um, let's go ahead and get that part ordered and delivered now. It costs $550. Because Picard thinks he needs more power when it's not even pulling that. Let's go ahead and put that in now. So ultimately, if we want to go to another team, we still need to perform well. One downside is that cord constantly wants to plug itself back in, even before you're ready. Let's get this booted up. Let's get the panels back on. And we still need to hit that mark of 6,000. So let's go ahead and let that play. Cut back when it's finished. So this is interesting. We put in another 8 gig stick of RAM and our score went down significantly. We also upgraded the PSU. Nothing of those upgrades should have that effect to the score. I personally think this must be a bug in the game. Um, but you know what? It still hits the score of 6,000. So regardless, let's uninstall the programs we don't need anymore. Because we've met our requirement for the computer. As we can see, it's all set to go. Throw it in the delivery area and we'll finish this day up. Uh, we don't have to accept any jobs, so let's end the day. All right, so we have MG's computer here. And Picard's other computer that he needs the upgrade on. Let's take a look. He needs the SSD in this replaced and upgraded. So let's see what he's got now. He's got 480 gigabyte SSD. Let us head over to the shop and real quick find us an SSD that will go in it. We need an SSD. Uh, let's go for our cheapest option. He has 480 gigs. Why don't we 
Why don't we grab this Kingston 512? That is technically an upgrade. And if we do that, that will finish this job off. We come over here, let's take a look real quick and see if we can notice any issues here. No RAM is detected in this PC. So let's pull the RAM out. And we need to find another eight gig stick. So we need eight gigabyte. And it was 2400 megahertz. I had forgotten the name offhand, but it's always nice to keep the broken part in there until we absolutely need it. We're going to add that to the card as well. And you know what? Just to be on the safe side, we're just going to do one of these maneuvers again where we borrow the RAM out of this PC and throw it in this one. Oh, they're not going to let us do that again. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, I guess we're not going to be able to check that. But we did get a display. So we knew the graphics card's working fine. Uh, everything was getting power. Uh, the CPU was working. Otherwise, that would have came up as an error first. So... I don't think there's going to be anything else wrong with that computer. Let's take a look at our emails real quick before we put the order in. Then the day. So we have a job from Jules. She asks, My little girl has been getting interested in what we do at Vandals. Asking questions, watching streams, and now she wants to try for herself. Playing some of these games. Of course I am not letting her play anything really violent. But I don't see any harm in Heart of Stone or Sokar. Do you? I'm going to send over our family computer. Can you make sure it meets the minimum requirements for both games? And she wants that done tomorrow. So if we take this job, we're going to need to order parts and have them shipped here same day. And that's not included in the budget. So that would be coming out of our labor costs. Um, but since they're paying $200, that would still be a profit. So we're going to take that job too. And no one's looking for us now. So I think we're safe to put the order in. This will come in tomorrow. I'm paranoid now after we messed up the last, um, that last order. Looks like we have everything we need, so we're ready to end the day. And with that, thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates to future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch as I try to stream three days a week. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Sim the World.